first step in changing the strings on a nylon string guitar is to take the old strings off at the headstock and the bridge. Once you have your new strings ready to go, feed the upper end of the string through the hole in the tie block and pull through, leaving yourself about three to four inches to tie the knot on the tie block. There are a couple different ways to tie a string, but here's one of the easiest and most conventional. The thing to remember here is when you loop the end of the string back through the loop you've created, that the knot be as far back on the tie block as possible. This will prevent the string from slipping. Here's an enlarged illustration of a tie block and a string that shows what to do step by step. The knot for the G, B, and E strings, or the treble strings, is a little different. The reason is, treble nylon strings aren't wound so they slip easier. So what you want to do is add a loop and this will prevent the knot from slipping. Once the string is tied at the tie block, the next step is to attach it at the headstock. Start by feeding the string through the hole in the post, create a loop, and then feed the end of the string back through that loop. Pull the end of the string tight to tighten the knot that you just created. Now you're ready to start winding the post to bring the string up to pitch. It's always a good idea to clip the excess string both here at the headstock and at the tie block. This will prevent the string ends from buzzing while you're playing. And that's how to change strings on a nylon string guitar.